So I wanted to share something with y'all concerning prophecy. So I was watching this video on YouTube and it was a practical video. This video said, I want you to ask the Lord for someone in your life that could use some encouragement. Ask him to show you or tell you a name of someone. So I said, okay, I did it. And a person from my past came to mind, a person who I'm not on the best terms with. <laughs> and it's funny because I asked the question and before I could finish asking the question, this person came to mind. Now, once upon a time, I would have been like, you know, that answer came too quick. I didn't even finish the question. Uh, so no, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna try to pull another answer from heaven because that can't be right that's how my analytical mind used to think we know that god knows our thoughts god knows our hearts god knows what we're gonna ask for before we even ask so i heard this person's name cool it's that person the next step was to ask god to show you an animal that this person represents so i ask and i see i see like a tiny little bird and i'm like Okay, cool, a bird, but I'm, I'm not a bird watcher. I have no idea what bird this is. So I'm thinking, okay, cool, they represent a bird next, you know, but then I hear sparrow. I said, okay, once again, my analytical mind, the tendency is, okay, is that just my brain saying something? Because I, I know a little bit of scripture, a little bit of scripture. So I know scripture talks about sparrows on a couple of instances. So I'm like, that's just my brain doing that. But you know, once again, I'm, I'm pulling away from that uh, analytical mindset and I'm just accepting. I see the little bird and I hear sparrow. So I Google sparrow to, to check, you know, it's, it's okay to check. And sure enough, that is the bird that I saw. So I'm like, okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Now the scripture comes to mind, right? So I basically get a word to share and encourage this person that, hey, you know, God hasn't forgotten about you. Um, Cause it's Luke 12, six, I believe that says, you know, what is the sparrow word? Two copper coins and God doesn't forget about the sparrow and you're worth more than a flock of sparrows. You know, I'm paraphrasing of course. So I get a word to share with this person that, you know, God hasn't forgotten about them. I know this person's personal life. They feel like they've made mistakes in life. And a lot of times they feel like, why does this happen to me? Or why am I always in this situation? things like that. So I, I knew this was from God for sure. But that's only half of the of the equation because now I got to share the word with this person who is upset with me and doesn't want to talk to me. And, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, God doesn't, especially when we're trying to grow, God doesn't make things easy. Out of everyone in my life that I could share a word with, this person who hates you right now, I want you to go share a word with them. <laughs> okay, Lord. Okay. So I call. No, first I FaceTime. No answer. Then I call. Because, um, you know, you, I, you know how y'all are, ladies. You know, if, if you ain't looking right, you definitely ain't going to answer a, a FaceTime. So so I call. Um, and her son answers. That was God right there. Because based on the way she answered the phone when he gave her the phone, I could tell she would not pick up the phone if, if she had the phone in her hand when I called. She said, hello. I said, hello, her name, how are you? And her response was, why are you calling me? So, you know, thank God for making a way that her son was probably playing games on her phone and gave her the phone. So, you know, I get to share the word with her. Uh, and after I share the word, she, she she's kind of softened now. I hear her like kind of take a deep breath. And she said, thank you. Um, but then she hardened right back up. But you know, hey, I did my part, so it's all good. Uh, so I just wanted to share that. You know, it's just an interesting experience. It might give someone some encouragement to step out or to even try that exercise. Ask somebody, I mean, ask the Lord for somebody who needs encouragement in your life. Ask him for an animal uh, that this person represents and then ask him, um, what is special or what are the unique characteristics about this animal uh, that you know this person represents and, and to uh, kind of cultivate a word from the things that the Lord shows you. When I say cultivate the word, uh, I'm saying, you know, New Testament prophecy is meant to encourage, to exhort, to edify, to build someone up, right? So you don't want it to be some fire and brimstone. You're going to hell if you don't change this type of word, right? 
right? So that's what I'm getting at. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to show my face, say hello, you know, comment, tell me, you know, what's been going on. I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, like the comment. I, I mean, like the video. You don't gotta like it. I mean, don't make a difference. But, you know, what's up, y'all? God bless y'all. Have a good night. Yeah.